Rachel Vonderhaar and I'm on the Ohio Small Grains Board and I've really enjoyed my time at the Commodity Classic. It's given me a great opportunity to network with other growers and meet different um, representatives of businesses that, uh, to create conversation about what is going on in agriculture right now and a quick way for me to get an educational update on what I need to know for the farm back home but also an opportunity to learn on what's going on in DC and what I need to be aware of. Because the Tend to Commodity Classic, it is because you have a great chance to network and visit with people and learn about some of the different things that are affecting our industry and uh, get a chance to maybe uh, put in and give input that might help solve some of the issues that are before us. Well, we had the opportunity to, this morning to listen to our Secretary of Agriculture bring a, a message, message of encouragement and uh, uh, a message of uh, uh, importance for us to get out and tell our story to the rest of the world um, and the importance of being involved in, uh, in our commodity organizations no matter whether we raise sweet corn, soybeans, cattle, chickens, just, uh, it's just so important for us to be involved. And, uh, that was one of the great messages I thought was delivered here and that you don't necessarily hear anywhere else, or, or at least not from the Secretary of Agriculture. What's neat, mm -hmm. some of the educational things you don't get at other trade shows. You get to meet with other people across the country that uh, local trade show you don't get to meet with. Well, I've learned uh, we've got a lot of strong uh, ties to a lot of different states. You know, a lot of times we work on things in Ohio and we wonder, you know, how we... Uh, stack up with the rest of the, the world and, and what's really neat is when you come here and share the same ideas and, and they're on the same page and you build coalitions and you move things forward and, and I think that's what's really good. But the networking possibilities here are what really makes me go is, is you find uh, friendships that have been around for years, and you reconnect, you find out what they're doing and you take those lessons home to your own farm. So you learn two ways, uh, both on the policy part of it and also uh, things that can benefit your own farm. So it's been a good uh, classic for me. I was a delegate here at Corn Congress, Commodity Classic, um, represented Ohio, and we were discussing pro uh, priorities and policy, working on uh, ways to basically improve uh, regulatory side, transportation side, all the aspects basically a corn farmer deals with. Probably my favorite part about Commodity Classic is meeting other growers from around the country, sharing ideas and different practices that they're implementing on their operations. Uh, networking opportunities, um, you get to meet a lot of different people, um, just been a great overall experience and I highly recommend that to anybody that has the opportunity to attend uh, Commodity Classic, it's, it's well, worth the, uh, well worth the trip.